Hi, I'm Patu from Free FinCal. In this video, let's talk about how a couple can manage money together uh, via what I call as together separately method. Uh, how compatible uh, the husband is with the wife is crucial to the success of a marriage. Uh, unfortunately, whether you marry by love or whether you marry uh, by arrangement, financial compatibility is uh, sheer dumb luck. Uh, you cannot uh, discuss every uh, possibility uh, about the future before you get married, uh, however way you get married. So some most more often than not, it's just sheer dumb luck. And uh, uh, before we start investing and before we start planning for goals, we require peace at home. The situation at home should be stable and there should be peace at home. Only then we can uh, look at uh, goal planning or investments efficiently. I'm making this video because uh, uh, I was featured uh, uh, in, in Live Mint on an on a article on FIRE, that is financial independence and retiring early. Of course, I am not retired early. but achieved financial independence, I don't need to retire early because I, I love my job. And uh, I had talked about, uh, in, in relation to this, I had, uh, I had tweeted saying that uh, uh, if I can call myself as a successful investor, I don't know about that. If I can, most of it is due to sheer luck and uh, due to the um, support of my wife. Uh, uh, the article is the alignment article is linked in the description box. You can have a look at that. So essentially, uh, uh, she has been uh, supportive by non-interference. Just uh, she has let me do whatever I want to do, uh, whether in my career or in my investments. She trusted me. Uh, uh, just just said that don't screw up. Uh, otherwise, I trust you and so on. If I wanted to. Uh, discuss something over I, I uh, usually do so uh, it is her support uh, that uh, is responsible for my success it is but uh, that she would be so f compatible with me in terms of finances that is she also is frugal I am also frugal we don't spend money too much on uh, anything uh, even if it is uh, uh, whether it's a small amount or a big amount, we talk about it, we think about it, we uh, talk, we, we often worry whether it's necessary or can we do it in some other way and so on. So we don't spend immediately. So that kind of, that level of compatibility is again luck. Uh, we talk about luck in the markets and so on, but this also is luck in, to some, some extent. If, if it is, if you are not so lucky and if there is some kind of, friction whether it is in finances or any other aspect of married life the only way out is to talk it out i still remember when when i went to give my phd supervisor uh, my, my marriage invitation he told me that the he told me something i never forget uh, never forgot and uh, i i just keep thinking about it often he told me that the man and woman should live uh, like the strings of the tampura that is the strings of the tampura are together that's like parallel lines they are together but they never intersect so we should always be there for each other but not interfere uh, in each other's lives and whether it is in money or whether it is anything else any other aspect of marriage i think that is true so uh, if 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 there is no financial compatibility and if you think that uh, there can be a difference uh, in the way one person is spending uh, money that is I spend money in a certain way and my wife spends money or my husband spends money in a certain way. If there is a difference in um, um, uh, how people look at money management, whether it is spending or investing, then I think we will have to come to a compromise. We cannot get everything done the way we want. Uh, for example, for example, the, the, the wife can be dead against equity uh, or the husband can be dead against equity. The one, one spouse can say, Inflation is important. We need to uh, invest. We are not able to invest enough. Therefore, we have to invest in equity. And the other person can say no to equity. I will not uh, allow. Uh, I cannot tolerate uh, that kind of risk. And nobody should do it. And the, uh, that can happen with real estate as well. Some people may say no equity, no real estate. Uh, yes to real estate, no to equity, and so on. In that kind of a situation, there has to be a compromise. There has to be um, uh, 
a, a, a frank discussion and if the other person is not able to uh, come around then uh, it's going to be a compromise it's a very difficult situation it's always going to be a difficult situation marriages are not uh, not all marriages are happy i mean practically uh, there will always be some problem whether it is on money or some or something else that's the fact of the matter uh if you're young and if you just got married don't get disillusioned by it but uh, i mean it's you got to work on your marriage uh, constantly and uh, you can only hope for that compatibility otherwise there has to be some kind of compromise so before all the excel sheets the returns the sips the planning and everything money management starts with mutual respect uh and we have to uh, talk about what matters uh the spouse the, the 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 two partners have to talk about what matters and what are their priorities and how best to go about it and then come to an agreement and then we start about uh, start talking about investing and so um i cannot uh, i mean i'm nobody to give advice to any any couple because every couple is different but these are kind of some kind of uh categories that i have seen i could be wrong and there could be more or there could be nuances among the types and so on so in a single income couple we can have uh, there's one type where all uh, big uh, big ticket money decisions uh, not just investment spending also are taken together everybody is an equal partner and uh, hopefully this is uh, i i fall into this type because i am the single owner in the family and um, so even if i have to spend something i don't uh, uh, assume it's my money and go ahead and spend i i go talk to my wife and uh, make sure that uh, it's important or something better something better can be done something more expensive or less expensive or better quality can be uh, purchased or whatever some kind of so we we talk it out and uh, decisions are taken all decisions are taken together uh there is also a type of couple where one partner uh, let's say the wife uh, Uh, typically tends to feel a little powerless because they think it's not their money and that the husband is bringing the money and therefore uh, they have to ask permission for spending and they cannot spend money free if that happens then the husband should immediately correct it that's a very dangerous situation to be in and i think uh, we should never let uh, that's the first lesson i learned the moment my wife stopped stopped uh, earning after my son was born so the the first thing is to make sure that the non earning partner in terms of a paycheck uh, sh- uh, does not get that kind of impression they should be free they should uh, be able to buy whatever they want and that's very very crucial if they tend to feel uh, it's no that it's the husband's money and i have to ask permission then that has to be immediately corrected so this is a big problem i should never let that happen but unfortunately the most popular type is probably three where the husbands act superior because they are the they they think that they are the breadwinner they think they are superior and the and the, they will tell the wife where they should invest how how much they can spend and they take all the decisions and so on and they think that the wife is uh, designated to do certain jobs in the kitchen take care of the house and take care of the children and so on. that's uh, that's terrible but uh, i hope uh, at least nobody watching this falls into type three. that's all we can we now have many double income couples obviously we've been having it for many decades uh, my my parents were double income couples that is the reason why uh, they could educate me uh, for so long uh, in fact i took a decade after school to finish all my education so that was possible only because my parents were double income couple uh here again there are few types uh, everything is done separately the husband's net worth the wife's net worth is clearly demarcated um whether it is a single account or joint account it's clearly demarcated and everything is kept separate and that's probably as aside from some common money given for expenses and so on everything is kept separate that's probably a very nice way to do it uh there is a, a, a the more pro- popular type is where even though the wife is earning maybe even more than the husband the husband dictates what what happens to the money the wife has no say with her own money and that again is awful um then again there is another type i don't know whether it is a different type but there i've seen people quarrel over careers about whose career is more important who uh, 
because somebody is earning more they think they are more important and so on that kind of a problem also comes on that should also type 2 and 3 should whether they are different types or whatever they should not uh, occur i think uh, uh, everybody should be treated as an equal partner but sometimes it's hard i mean marriage is hard work so you have to keep at it so i think young couples should really talk they should talk a lot about the future not just about whether uh, the, whether the husband wants to, wants a bike uh, or go on a trip uh, five years from now wants a uh, you know you know a race car or whatever that not that kind of goals they'll have to talk young couples have to talk about what happens uh, when they become parents are they going to become parents uh, when are they going to become parents and after they become parents what is going to happen are both of them going to work if they work what is the arrangement to take care of the child uh, i had written a controversial post here uh, that uh, one one parent should st- whether it's a man or woman should stop working after the birth of a child uh, a lot of opposition to that uh, but i strong i still strongly believe in that but i didn't in in my case that's why i keep saying luck in in, in my case my wife naturally decided not to work uh, after uh, my son was born uh if she had said i'm i'm going to work i couldn't have uh, there's nothing i could have said we'd have to find a way around but but it just that's that the compatibility was just completely natural and accidental so we have to that's the reason why young couples have to talk about um uh, about these things about uh, big areas uh, uh, not only about um, about uh, involving money but also involving emotions involving effort on children and so on then they'll have to figure out how to handle this it's not easy uh, if you're not yet married if you're uh, if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend please do please talk about this uh, one disclaimer uh, when you do talk about it sometimes cracks can appear uh, in the relationship uh, please be careful about that even before you get married cracks can appear and then you may want to uh, rethink your decision about love and so on love and so on so be careful uh but it's better to talk it's better to talk now than than later one question i get asked is how should a double income couple manage finances and retirement planning uh again my answer to that is together separately uh i think uh they should say that uh, uh some x percent from the husband's income and y percent from the wife's income should uh, should be pooled together for uh, essential expenses and the rest of it uh then to some some uh, another percentage should be should be towards spending and the rest they can spend any way they want so everything should be done uh together but separately there should be a discussion on all aspects of uh, money management one important thing is please make sure that the spouse is the second holder whether you are a single income couple or a double income couple make sure that the spouse is the second holder in all accounts uh this will ensure uh, the transmission of assets becomes easier in case one of them uh, so that's very important so um i think that's essentially what i had to talk up, uh, to say about uh, money management as a couple it's a very tough uh, um i had one i don't know i had a quote is that what i wanted to say there is one more quote i got yeah i had a quote i it, it didn't come through in the slide so um it's a it's manage is tough work and i think uh, uh it can only be resolved by dialogue not everything that we want to do or we feel right uh, uh can come through in a marriage if the other partner feels uh, very strongly and very differently from what we feel then we have to compromise and uh, i think uh, how well we compromise decides uh, how uh, successful the marriage is a successful marriage does not mean the individuals are happy that is uh, maybe ironical a successful marriage does not mean the individually the husband and wife are happy well life is tough huh, what do you know so uh that's uh, uh, what i have to say about this and uh, if you have any comments on this uh, on this or uh, if you have any questions please let me know i'll catch you in another video bye